shift gears back to the East and talk about the defending champions of the Buck. They open against the Brooklyn Nets and then immediately hit the road to play the Heat to start a three-game road trip. Cassidy, the Bucks played deep into the summer and had two players play in Tokyo. Are you concerned at all about their short offseason? I'm concerned about the short offseason across the league. Um, I'm concerned about a, a hangover from what was an exhausting season. Um, being in Las Vegas during Summer League, the, the biggest takeaway I had while there is that everyone was exhausted. <laughs> and, um, you know, it's a short turnaround to the start of the season. It, you know, training camps open end of September. As far as the Bucks are concerned, I think it's going to be interesting to see how Giannis approaches this season. He was pretty deliberate. Um, you know, as far as what he wanted to accomplish this year coming off of signing that record deal at the beginning of the year. We know that the Bucks are a, a a great regular season team. They proved that they could be a great postseason team, of course, last year. Um, Giannis seems to be unfazed by the noise, but I think it's going to be a really interesting year for him to see how he responds. Yeah, I'm not expecting them, Richard, to be... <laughs> You know, Lily Fresh in November and December, but in talking to folks in the Bucks organization, they realize that to have a chance to repeat, they're going to have to get a good seed. They know that the Nets are going to be better and healthier, probably. They know that the Heat have improved. Who knows what the Sixers will be? Obviously, the Hawks are a serious contender. So I'm not expecting them to come flying out of the gates, but I am expecting them to have the gas pedal down for a lot of this season. Um, they're still a relatively young team. And they want the chance to defend their title. So I'm looking at them, as Cassidy said, to try to rack up wins in the regular season. That's what Mike Budenholzer has always done. I expected to, to, for, the, for them to still do it. Their over-under, um, I believe, was 53 and a half. And I would feel decent if Giannis is healthy that they hit that over. Yeah, well, my, my only you know worry for the for the Bucks is when you look at all the teams that had deep runs uh, in the bubble, they were uh, you know they struggled or they had some injuries, and now you're going to look at what the Bucks did. Not only did they play all the way and win a championship, but then two of their most important because Giannis is kind of a, a constant. He's seven feet, can run, can jump, but their skill players, the ones that are going to need their legs to knock down shots and to play defense. You're talking about Chris Middleton. You're talking about Drew Holiday. Both of these guys extended, and if his history has told us anything when you have a, a, a tough season and then you go and play summer the next season becomes very very difficult but thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN plus